tired of the national media obsessing with one particular candidate because you know what? America is at a real crossroads. And instead of talking about the guy that was in the middle of the stage the other day, we need to talk about the real threat in this race, and that is the possibility that Hillary Clinton could be elected President of the United States. That would be worse than the President we have. We cannot let that happen. Well, I, I don't think uh, the comments, some of the most outrageous comments he had, had no place in a presidential election. And so I've clearly stated that. But, but I, I'm most frustrated by the fact that his comments distract from the real opponent, which isn't him, it's Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton would be a horrible president, even worse than the president we have today. And I just hope that we can get back to a point where we start talking about what our positive alternatives are to a Hillary Clinton uh, presidency. I want to talk about transferring power from Washington into the hands of hardworking taxpayers in the states. I want to talk about how to build an economy by getting government out of the way and empowering everyone to live their piece of the American dream. And I want to talk about how I'm going to protect people's children and grandchildren from radical Islamic terrorism and other threats in the world. I'm going to talk about reform, growth, and safety. And uh, I'm tired of talking about any other Republicans. I want to talk about what I'm for and how that best contrasts against Hillary Clinton. Well, I point out today that Governor Haley made an announcement that I supported her. Uh, the bottom line, though, is in a larger issue uh, that we deal with not only here in South Carolina but across the country, there's really two choices. If you want to, if you focus on so, uh, if you focus, if you, excuse me, if you focus on racial unrest, if you focus on the divide there, uh, you're going to get more of that, which is what we've seen under this administration all across the country. If you focus on unity, you're going to get more of that, and I think. The most positive thing uh, out of all this was to see the reaction from the families of those who were massacred in Charleston stand up and really show not just Charleston and not just South Carolina, but the country, what it means to be truly united. I think that shows us the pathway forward as a country. Great people, wonderful field. I hope Americans see that any of them would be a much better pick than Hillary Clinton. What I'm going to do is focus on what makes me the best candidate to take on Hillary and ultimately the best case candidate to turn this country around. It's simple. I fight, I win. I don't just win three elections in, in four years in a blue state. I fight and win and actually get results and do it without compromising my principles. A lot of great candidates, but nobody else can say they do each of those things. I may not be the most bombastic. I may not be the most charismatic, but I'm the only one in this race who has fought and won three times in a blue state and actually got things done with results.